Okay, welcome everybody. I uh, thank you for joining us for this webinar today about uh, our device uh, Onda. Uh, our trainer for today will be uh, Federica Colli. Uh, our program uh, consists uh, in an uh, introduction about the theory and uh, uh, the clinical aspects of uh, our device Onda. We will see uh, the basic uh, uh, concept uh, um, for this device uh, and uh, especially we will see how um, it can be combined with other techniques with other treatments in order to get uh, uh, the maximum results as possible um, during the webinar you can ask uh, questions by using the uh, question and answer uh, button uh, you find uh, uh, on, on your screen, uh, uh, your microphone will be muted and I uh, kindly ask you to keep it mute for uh, the entire webinar. Uh, we will answer to your questions at the end of the uh, presentation, as well as during the clinical part. We will have a practical part hands-on with a, a patient uh, just to demonstrate to you how to use it, uh, how to use the device uh, properly how to apply uh, the correct settings and how to eventually adjust them according to the patient's uh, um, needs and uh, the, the different indications. Uh, our webinar will be um, quite fast and mostly focused on the practical part. So I thank you again for joining us. I leave the speech uh, to Federica and uh, we see later after the presentation for uh, answering your questions. Thanks you uh, again. Hello, everyone. I really thank Ricardo for inviting me to this webinar and will be a pleasure for me sharing with you my experience with this new technology. I introduce myself. My name is Federica Colli. I work here in Florence in Villa Donatello Clinic with my chief, Professor Bonan. I'm a therapist and I normally deal with not invasive procedures as cryolipolysis, radiofrequency, uh, ultrasound, and so on. So today I will explain a little bit better um, on the device. I know that someone of you uh, has Onda, so probably you know nearly everything, but other people don't have it. So I will explain the entire presentation, okay? So we can start. Saying that we are using uh, microwaves, so it's the first technology in the market, in body country market, that uses this particular frequency at 2.45 gigahertz for treating uh, cellulite, fat reduction, and flavins. I will repeat many, many times today the same topic. Uh, it means that we always perform on these three blemishes at the same time. So it means that I always give to my patient very good results for cellulite improvement, fat reduction, and tightening treatment. At the same time, it means uh, during the same session. So if a patient comes to me asking for fat reduction treatment, actually I'm giving to her uh, cellulite improvement, if she has it, and tightening treatment over the same area with the same MPs during the same time. So let's see in detail that we can treat cellulite in all stages. So it means that, in my opinion, the best cellulite to treat is when we have a third, fourth stage cellulite. So it means that we have a very fibrotic tissue, very hard tissue, uh, when water is not present. In fact, on the other side, the first stage cellulite, it's a little bit more complicated to treat. Why? Because water absorbs microwaves. So we could have an energy scatter in water component. In that case, we never reject the patient. We uh, strongly recommend to undergo lymphatic massage or draining devices just to reduce the water into the tissue. And immediately after we can uh, treat um, our patient with on the device. For fat, we can treat only subcutaneous fat because it's impossible to go down, to go below the muscles. So we always stop in fat layer, but we can treat both kinds of fats. So when we have very fibrotic fat or very soft fat, 
uh, and you know, for example, I have cryolipolysis here in this clinic, and we know that for treating with cryolipolysis, we need a very soft and pinchable tissue. In that case, we can treat even very uh, strong and hard fat. For uh, loose skin, it means that we always perform a tightening treatment, always as positive side effects, because we, we are going to hit even the collagen fibers. But why microwaves? Because we have seen that by using this particular frequency at 2.45 gigahertz, we are able to skip the skin and going down into fat layer. So we can really heat the fat, skipping the skin. It means that we can have very good results in fat reduction, but very safe treatment for, uh, for the skin. This is, visually speaking, is this. So you see that when we use cool waves, we can skip the skin and go down fat layer. So 80% uh, of the energy is absorbed by fat. So fat is like a sponge. It can absorb, absorb the entire energy quantity and the only 20% remains in skin layer. With RF, with radio, radio frequency, uh, happens the opposite. So all the energy remain in skin layer and only 30% can go down. But remember that when we use radio frequency, the maximum temperature on the skin could be, I don't know, 40, 42 degrees. So can you imagine that the temperature in fat could be, I don't know, 38 degrees, not enough to cause a damage to adipocytes. How do we reach a strong heating in the tissue? Well, Onda delivers a magnetic field into the tissue. So when molecules are crossed by this magnetic field, they start moving, they start doing a very strong friction for uh, finding their original position. This strong friction made by oscillation and vibration movement produces the heat. We can eat the fat at 55 degrees. Why? Because molecules in fat layer will move faster than molecules on skin layer. For this reason, we are selective in uh, adipose tissue. Here we can see the difference between 2.45 gigahertz, so when we use on the device, and the major part of the energy goes down in fat layer, and 6% remain in skin layer. The competitors, um, radio frequency mainly work between 27 and 40 megahertz. You see that the major part is absorbed by the skin which are the effects on the tissue. From this picture, you can observe that we can't do any damages on skin layer. So uh, the dermis is completely preserved. And if you focus your attention here, the pink color is completely changed. It means that we, we had a remodelation of collagen fibers. In adipose tissue, happens that. So we can, uh, we can see that we have the breakage of the membrane of the adipocytes and normal basal hyperemia due to the heat. And to the adipocytes happens that with this very high temperature reaching 55, 60 degrees, the adipocytes start boiling. So they change the permeability of their membrane and little lipid drops are coming out from the cells. So you see all these little drops all around adipocytes. It means that the adipocyte is becoming smaller and smaller. These lipid drops, fat acids, go in the interstitial tissue. Here they are recognized like scraps from our body. So monocytes arrive, they form a um, multinucleated cell all around adipocytes and macrophages start doing their job. So they start eating all these scraps. The macrophages reach of lipid droplets go into lymphatic system. Uh, 
So here we can observe a lymphatic vessels between three adipocytes. And here you see the macrophage reach of lipid drops. What does it mean? It means that it's strongly recommended uh, not to do treatment every week or every two weeks. We normally wait one month between one session and the other. Why? Because we need to give time to lymphatic system to remove all the scraps produced by on the device. What about cellulite? Well, this picture is very nice because you see that where energy can arrive, adipocytes are broken. But in cellulites, we have many, many fibrous septas like this, and they stop the energy. For this reason, I normally recommend to use the Shellohan piece because it's through that it goes um, less deep, but it's very concentrated. So we can, with that piece, we can really break these fibrous septas. You see the damage here? So it means that by using shallow hand piece, we can break the fibrous septas. And after that, so for example, after one, two treatments, we can follow doing deep hand piece, the bigger hand piece, to work on the other adipocytes. Well, we have, as I said before, the inauturation of collagen fibers. So we have the breakage of the whole collagen, this red collagen, and formation of new collagen in green color. After two months, we go back to normal situation. So no more inflammation, but visible fat reduction. It means that for uh, decreasing the inflammation, we need two months, but if I suggest to my patient to undergo lymphatic massage or draining devices, draining procedures, the time will be less. So for this reason, I normally wait 30 days. These are the main contraindications. So skin pathologies uh, over the area uh, where we want to treat. Uh, and neoplasias in the first five, five, five years, phlebitis, thrombosis, breastfeeding, uh, obesity, and the contraindications more or less are always the same as in other devices. The main questions that I normally receive are these. So can we treat patients with prothesis? Yes, if the prothesis is not placed in the area that we want to treat. Uh, yes, uh, yes, we, because we don't arrive so deep, so no problem with that kind of patient. Serious cardiac problems and pacemaker. I normally avoid that kind of patient in order not to have problem because they are very sensitive patient and it's better to avoid them. Uh, diabetes, well, um, theoretically, no, we cannot do the treatment. But if the diabet is under control, I normally do the treatment to my patient, maximum one area, in order not to overcharge the lymphatic system. Obesity, theoretically, yes, we can do it, but it doesn't make sense because remember that we are using a body countering device. So we normally treat very little, very small area of the body. So uh, for that kind of patient, I normally prefer to suggest them to lose weight and after we can uh, perform the treatment. Pregnancy, no, breastfeeding, not during the first period. Skin pathology, yes, if the disease is not on the area that we want to treat. Okay, this is very important because uh, we have understood uh, what microwaves, uh, microwaves are, but it's very important to understand even how the waves penetrate into the tissue. So I normally propose this comparison with the oven that you have in your kitchen, because um, the frequency is exactly the same. So on the device and the microwave oven work uh, both at 2.45 gigahertz. In fact, what happens when you put something uh, inside the oven? for example, a cup of milk. 
the milk will be uh, very hot, so it can reach very high temperature, while the cup will remain just warm. And will be, it will be warmed up by the hot milk, not by microwaves. We do exactly the same because when we are in contact with the skin, we can overeat the fat by skipping the skin, that in this case is the cap. Okay. So um, it's, it's the same concept, but it's not the same how the waves penetrate because in microwave oven, Microwaves bump free everywhere, concentrated in the middle. Here, we can really check and control where microwaves are going to, because in both end pieces, we have two electrodes, one here in the middle and one in the external part. So the one in the middle pushes down the energy directly in fat layer, and the other one recall back the waves. So we have a very close energy circle emission. This is mean very safe treatment for the patient, but even for us. Hmm? Because for example, when, when, uh, when I'm not well in contact with the skin, uh, a red light appears and it warned me that I have to fix my position. So when we reach fat layer, we reach 55 degrees. And all this temperature has to go somewhere. So it goes in the surrounding area. And it's a very good aspect for us because when I normally treat a square of 15 by 15, I'm gonna see very nice improvement even out of the square. But it can go even uh, to the skin, toward the skin. It could be a problem because 55 degrees, it's a very high temperature and we can burn the patient. For this reason, both end pieces are equipped by a cooling system here in the external area. So here you can observe staying still. We, we, we never do this, but just to show you that staying still, you see that from the picture in Yellow color, it means that we reach 70 degrees, very high temperature. In the light blue color area, the temperature will be lower where the cooling system is. So what does it mean? It means that it's strongly recommended to stay always in motion during the treatment, never staying still. Okay, uh, these are the two hand pieces that we have in the device. Uh, I want to underline again and again that both of them can do the same things. So both of them can treat fat reduction, can treat cellulite, can treat flabbiness. But we mainly use deep end piece that has a penetration of 16 mils. When we have a lot of fat, when we have a soft fat, soft cellulite or fat combined with flabbiness. On the other side, the shallow hand piece that has a penetration of seven mils, so less than the deep end piece, we use this kind of uh, end piece when I have to um, treat area where the fat or cellulite is very strong, is very hard. For example, a stubborn cellulite, or even when we have a little fat or little fat combined with flabbiness. Uh, in that case, to be uh, safer, we use shallow hand piece in order to penetrate a little bit less. So what I do is when I have a strong tissue, I start with shallow hand piece, one session. When I realize that the tissue became softer during this following session, for example, the second treatment, I follow doing deep hand piece. On the top of the handpiece, we have a very clever light. Uh, the light will be green if I'm well in contact with the skin, I'm well delivering the energy. Uh, the yellow becomes, uh, sorry, the light becomes yellow when I'm losing energy. So I need to fix my position and the red light, it means no contact. These are the two penetrations, seven mils and 16 mils with deep and shallow handpiece. 
Okay, now we show uh, some comparisons uh, between Honda and other machines, other devices. The closest energy to us is radio frequency. So let's see the difference. When we deliver radio frequency, the energy, as I said before, remains in skin layer, reaching maximum 42 degrees in skin layer. So you see that fat layer is completely not involved. While on the other side with the Honda, we can send the energy directly in fat layer, skipping the skin. When we reach the fat, thanks to the molecules friction, we reach a temperature of 55, 60 degrees, and all this heat goes up toward the skin. At the end of the session, I will have on the top of the skin 42 degrees. So 55 degrees in skin in fat layer and 42 degrees in skin layer. For this reason, I repeat many, many times that we always perform three treatments at the same time because I'm doing a fat reduction, I'm doing an improvement of the cellulite if I have some fibroceptas in, uh, in fat layer and dermis, and I'm going to break the collagen fibers much more than in radiofrequency because during this pet, I can kill all the collagen fibers, not the most, the most superficial collagen. Another comparison is Onda versus ultrasound. So as I said before, with Onda, we always stop in fat layer. It's impossible to cross the fat, the fat layer and filter through it going down. So no damage to muscle, no damage to organs. While with uh, ultrasound, we don't know where energy stops. So for this reason, I saw in my experience many, many patients with uh, depressions in the tissue or little holes caused by cavitation or other kind of ultrasound, because it's very difficult to find the right, um, the right power for ultrasound in order not doing uh, damages. Another kind of ultrasound, ultrasound more precise is the HIFO focalized ultrasound. It stops in fat layer, but you see that by treating very little dots, very little area. So for treating a wider area, we need a lot of time and it's very painful for the patient. Another comparison is Onda versus cryolipolysis. I have to say that I love cryo because it works in a very good way, but there is a very big problem with cryo because cryo uh, can be offered only to that patient who has uh, a very soft and pinchable fat. So neither cellulite nor lux skin can be treated. So it's a very big limit. It's very difficult to, to sell this kind of treatment for everybody. On the other side, we, with Onda, we can treat all kinds of patients. Cellulite, fat, loose skin, hard, strong, soft, all kinds of tissue. And the last comparison is Onda uh, versus Schwarzy. Mm, not versus, because I normally combine uh, the two devices together. Why? Because with Onda, we can perform, we can treat fat reduction, cellulite, loose skin, but we cannot achieve good results for muscles because we don't touch muscle layer. For this reason, I combine the treatment with Schwarzy with this other machine that I have here in, uh, in our clinic. Schwarzy is a magnetic field able to treat muscle layer. So to give tone and thickness to the muscle. In fact, in the market, we, ha we have many, many devices that can treat uh, fat reduction, cellulite, uh, skin tightening, but it's very hard to give a good results to our patient when we speak about muscle thickness. For this reason, we have a Schwarzy device. Um, the new aspect of this uh, new technology by DECA 
is that we have three different protocols. And while the competitors, I'm thinking about, for example, BTL, has only one protocol. And I think that it's not correct because every patient needs of one uh, specific treatment. So we cannot propose the same protocol to everybody. In fact, for example, when I finish my Honda treatment, I immediately uh, do to my patient the aerobic protocol. The aerobic protocol, it's very um, useful for um, the reabsorption of the fat treated by Honda and for stimulate uh, a drainage mechanism immediately after treatment. Uh, the shaping protocol is suggested uh, after some days for treating on fat reduction and even on muscle tone. The last protocol is strength protocol. The strength is suggested for that patient who are trained. So when they have a very um, strong muscle layer, in that case, I can use strength protocol. The strength protocol is the only protocol in Schwarzy device that can work on uh, fast fiber. So the other two protocols are suggested for people that are not used to go to gym or doing as exercises that are not trained. And um, another thing very interesting that every protocol has two levels. So it means the first levels with the trapezoidal wave. So it's a little bit softer treatment while when our patient is a little bit more trained, we can do the second level with a shape, a quadrant shape. In that case, um, the treatment will be very strong. Hmm? Okay, go back to Honda. So how to do the treatment? Very easy. I always, I've been using uh, Honda for, for years and I always draw the square. So I recommend to draw this quadrant of 15 by 15 centimeters area with a normal pen and a ruler. And how many treatments? It depends on the patient as you see in the picture. So if I have a very lean patient, I normally suggest two or three treatments every one month, always every one month. If I have another kind of patient, I suggest a little bit more average four treatments. Where to place the quadrants? This is a little bit more complicated because remember that when we work in one quadrant of 15 by 15, I will see very good improvement even out of the squares. So it doesn't matter to cover an entire leg of quadrants. I will put my quadrants only on the most problematic areas. So we can treat uh, double chin, later we are going to see how, arms, abdomen, love handles, back bra line, gluteus, inner thigh, rear and front thigh, upper knee and trochanter. Which program to select? Well, in the device, we have a database. I strongly recommend not to use it because it uses very low parameters. For, for obtaining very good results, we need to increase the parameters. So my suggestion is to go here in the manual selection where there is this little hand and set the machine by yourself. How? Okay, it, it looks quite complicated this slide, but anyway, I try to explain uh, better. So for example, if we start from database, don't do it. The parameters will be, for example, for a cellulite stage two, we have 80,000 joule of dose and 130 watt of power. So my suggestion is to select, first of all, the right end piece. So I want to treat cellulite, okay. And I know that this cellulite is very stubborn. It's very hard. So I know that I want to start with shallow handpiece. Okay, first of all, I select shallow handpiece. Then 
I have to increase the parameters. So the 80% will increase of the 70, 80% more, the 80,000, sorry. While the power will increase of 30, 40 watt more. In fact, my parameters are here. So when I mainly have, for example, cellulite and a lot of fat, my dose recommended is 150, 170,000 joule. So you see much more than database. And I will use 150, 170 watt. When I have flabbiness or little fat, I reduce a little bit the parameters. I select 130, 140,000 joule, and I use 130, 140 watt. Just to refresh the ideas. So the dose, what is the dose? The dose is the amount of the energy that I want to push in that quadrant. So is the amount of, of the energy that I want to deliver to obtain results. So for obtaining better results, I need to increase the dose. So the most important parameter is the dose. The power is the speed that I use to push down all that energy. So for sure, for me, it will be better to increase at the maximum power, 200 watt, because I will spend less time. But in that, in that, um, in that way, the patient will feel a very strong hot, intolerable. So we, we have to find the right power to spend more or less 15 minutes in each quadrant, but in order not to, um, in order not to burn the patient, okay? So I normally move the power between 150, 170. Remember that the shallow handpiece is more concentrated. So it's a little bit less tolerable by the patient. So I normally decrease a little bit the power. While with deep and peace, that the cooling system is bigger, it's very tolerable by the patient. So in that case, I can increase the power. Adverse reaction could be hematomas. If you press too much, don't do it. Redness. Uh, completely normal and it fades in very few minutes after treatment. Slow pain over the treated area, in particular if the patient has a very stubborn cellulite and you press too much. And sometimes nodules can occur. Nodules are little, mm, little piece of uh, strong fat but don't worry because they fade in three, four weeks or some months. I normally suggest to my patient to undergo lymphatic massage twice a week in order to remove faster these little nodules. How long should we wait between each treatment? We have already said this. So when I treat fat and cellulite, so it means that I delivered a very high energy, I wait four or five weeks. When I treated a patient with very little uh, fat, very loose skin, so uh, the energy was uh, much less, I can wait a little bit less time, three weeks. It's strongly recommended to uh, undergo lymphatic uh, and draining devices or massage, to drink a lot of water, to walk, everything that can help the lymphatic system to work faster. Which are the consumable? Um, only paraffin or Vaseline liquid oil. So other kind of oils are not allowed because they could contain some water and water absorbs microwaves. Okay, double chin topic. And so during the last time we are treating even this new area, the double chin, uh, it's a very particular area because we don't have 15 by 15 centimeters area where to move. So the area is smaller. So be careful when you use the end piece. The only hand piece that we can use for treating this area is the shallow hand piece. 
the movement will be uh, smaller because the area is very small. And I recommend to treat only this little area, okay, below the double chin. We cannot treat this area because there are many, many lymphatic vessels and glands and they can swell. So be careful uh, to stay always in this little area. This is how to perform a treatment. So you see that the movement is very, is very small. So we treat just this little area. The redness that you are seeing is due to the cooling system. I normally deliver these parameters. I use 70,000 joule dose and 60 watt power. So it depends on the patient. If the patient can tolerate a little bit more, I can increase. This is the results after three treatments. After four treatments, because when the patient has less fat, I have to reduce the parameters. So even the results will be uh, slower. Four treatments for hair. Four treatment. This is after two treatments. So you see the fat reduction in double chin area, but even, she's the same patient, even the skin tightening, the skin quality is completely changed. Even from this clay picture, we can appreciate the skin tightening and skin quality improved. This is another patient after only two treatments. So we are uh, at the half of the path because we normally suggest always at least four treatments for double chin area. And she lost many, many CC. Okay, now we move to uh, body clinical cases. I will go a little bit faster because I have many, many pictures. Okay. So this is the result after two treatments. Uh, we treated this patient with four quadrants, one, two, three, four. So you see that thanks to the heat diffusion, we can have very good improvement even in the surrounding area. Just one quadrant on the upper knee area. She's very uh, lean patients. Uh, they are the most complicated patient because they have nothing to treat, so it's harder to, to find a, a, a good results. But anyway, uh, her skin improved a lot. She's the same patient, so you see that the fold here in the gluteus area completely changed in two treatments with shallow hand piece. Even here, we treated with shallow hand piece because she had a very strong cellulite. You see that after three treatments, how these little holes improved. Okay, mm, I suggest to her to undergo surgery, but uh, she didn't want, so we tried to perform Honda treatments and after four treatment, she lost many, many centimeters. Uh, I think about four centimeters in each leg of circumference. Okay. Here we treated a uh, trochanteris area and inner thigh. After two treatment, two treatment for hair, and we stopped because she obtained very good improvement. This is wonderful results after one treatment with shallow hand piece because when I have this wavy tissue, I normally prefer to use the shallow one. And you see my parameters are very high. So 160,000 joule, 170 watt power. Because when we treat cellulite, fibrotic cellulite, they don't feel pain, they don't feel heat. So we can increase a lot the parameters. One treatment on the gluteus area. So you see the little holes here are nearly disappeared. Trochanteris area, two treatments. Just uh, three treatments for hair, very bad cellulite. 
one treatment treatment so this is a partial result for sure she needs a little bit more but anyway after one treatment we can we can appreciate the difference in the upper knee area one quadrant one quadrant for her one treatment this is after three treatments and i treated just one quadrant here and one here so you see that thanks to the heat diffusion we can uh, we can have very good improvement on the entire leg this is the same patient one quadrant per leg three treatments three treatments for hair very stubborn cellulite so shallow hentis Fats. So here we started with shallow hand piece one treatment. When the tissue became softer, uh, we used deep hand piece. Three treatments. Four treatments for hair, a very bad asymmetry from the right and left side. She lost four centimeters on the left and two centimeters on the right. One quadrant on trochanteris area, she's the same patient. So you see that. Yes, we do fat reduction. Yes, we improve the cellulite, but even the skin is completely changed. So it doesn't matter to do many, many treatments uh, as I, um, I did before uh, by using ultrasound combined with radio frequency combined with cryo. Here with one technology, we can obtain this kind of um, results. One treatment for hair and one quadrant between trochanteris and uh, the bottom part of the gluteus, she had very nice improvement. Two treatments, one treatment for hair. So you see that we can treat even very lean patient. The machine says no, that um, we, the minimum fat thickness is two centimeters, but anyway, when you are able to use the machine uh, and you do practical, so you, you can treat even this kind of patient, very lean patient, decreasing the parameters. Upper knee area for her, one treatment. Stubborn cellulite, third stage cellulite after two treatments. This is after only one for fat reduction on the belly area. And I treated two quadrants, one on the left, one on the right of the uh, belly button. And you see the loss of volume and even she lost volume even on the flanks. She's the same patient side view. Please take picture of your patient always because they don't remember how they were. This is after one treatment, sorry, two treatments. The first treatment made by Deep and Peace because in that case, she had a little bit more fat. And after one treatment, when she lost some volume in the belly area, I treated her with uh, shallow hand piece. This is a particular case after pregnancy, and um, we combine fractional laser at the beginning. So in T0, she already uh, done the fractional laser, and we, with two Honda treatments, she improved a lot. This is after three treatments for tightening, but in reality, we perform even fat reduction. This is after a bad liposuction. So when we have very wavy tissue with uh, some little cicatricial nodules, we can obtain a very good improvement after one treatment and one fractional laser. She lost many, many centimeters, like nine centimeters in the upper part of the belly and five centimeters in two treatments. Two treatments for him. Two treatments, she needs more, but anyway, reaching this kind of um, efficacy with radio frequency is totally impossible. After one treatment, she's the same patient, sorry. This is the flank area. 
the brow line, sorry, the brow line area, she lost two centimeters and a half after one treatment. Three treatments for belly area, two treatment. She is about 70 years old. So we can perform the treatment uh, always. After, this is very mm, interesting to see these results because yes, okay, we had quite good improvement after four treatments, but here she lost many centimeters in one treatment. Why this difference? Because here I had very strong fat. So I need more time in order that the tissue become softer and after I can decrease the volume. Here, when the fat is already soft, it's easier and faster. So you see after one treatment, she lost a lot of volume in belly area, but even in the flanks, but we treated just the belly area. Even here, one treatment, fat reduction, strong fat, so a little bit more complicated. And here we have uh, one treatment. I treated her in four quadrants because she's very tall. And uh, she lost four centimeters of circumference. And thanks to the heat diffusion, she lost volume even in the flanks, in the waistline, and in bra line. She's the same patient. But I treated just the belly area. Another case uh, is a diabetic guy and uh, he made injection for all, all, all his life uh, over the same area, in the belly area. So she, he had a very um, strong and cicatricial tissue in that area. And with three sessions, we obtained that the tissue became softer and even a fat reduction. Very lean patient after one treatment. So you see that even for that kind of patient, you can obtain results for sure decreasing the parameters because they cannot tolerate. This is after two treatments. She lost a lot of volume. She needs more probably, but anyway, the result is really visible. Thinking about that we are working with a not invasive procedure. She lost volume even in bra line, you see? but we treated just the belly area. So be careful to the heat diffusion as positive side effects. She lost about five centimeters of circumference. This is a Quantificare 3D camera. Another case of belly area, she lost five centimeters here in the middle. and the harms treatment after three treatments. For the harms, we normally repeat the treatment every three weeks instead of four. So if you want to, to keep this slide, to take picture to this slide, I think that it could be useful for you. I really thank for your attention and I'm ready to answer to all your questions. And I don't know if we do the practical part now or we move to answer the questions. Yeah, um, yeah. thank you, Federica. We have a um, few questions from, uh, uh, from uh, the participants from the audience. So I think we can uh, uh, answer to some of them before uh, we move to the practical part. So I took note about a few of them. Uh, uh one of the question is uh about uh, the treatment can we uh enlarge the treatment area and combine uh, two or more areas at the same time uh actually the answer is uh no uh because the area is being defined by us because it's an important parameter uh the unit the device uh, needs to know uh, in order to calculate the uh, correct amount of those you have to deliver uh, enlarging the treatment area um, a bit is not a, is not a problem. Uh, I mean, if you move the MPs uh, just over the 15 by 15 square, it's not a big issue. But uh, if you 
try to cover two areas at the same time, then uh, you will reduce dramatically the uh, efficacy and the results of the device. Um, another question is about what temperature is uh, reached into the fat layer. As uh, Federica told you before, and you saw during the presentation, the big advantage of uh, using microwave is uh, represented by the fact that the energy can bypass the skin without interacting too much with it. And we can deposit the energy in that so that the temperature can rise up to 55 to 60 degree. The level of uh, energy we control by the temperature guarantee us that we do not go higher than uh, uh, 60 degrees. This is very important to avoid uh, uh, problems, uh, especially when you reach the 80 degrees because you divide uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the fat uh, uh, in, uh, in uh, um, dangerous uh, components. Uh, um, what about the safety? Well, the safety is guaranteed uh, by the device because uh, as Federica told you before, all the energy delivered by, uh, by the end piece remains into the fat layer. So there is no residual energy which goes around the body. The moment uh, you detach the end piece from the skin, there is no emission outside. So all the energy you deliver will be uh, reflected back into the device. So there is no uh, energy around uh, uh, the end piece or the device during its use. And that uh, makes the, the device completely safe, both for the patient and for the uh, doctor. Um, okay, another question is about uh, the interval uh, between the different sessions, both for fat and cellulite treatment. This I think Federica can answer you better than me. See, the minimum interval time is 30 days. But another question that you did before is how many quadrants are treatable during the same session? Um, maximum six quadrants. So, and when I treat six quadrants, I wait a little bit more for repeating the second session because I overcharged the lymphatic system. So I want to give to lymphatic system more time to reduce the inflammation. So in that case, when I treat two quadrants, I wait 30 days. If I treat four quadrants, I wait a little bit more, like 35, 40 days. If I treat six quadrants, it's better to wait 45 days. But the minimum interval time is one month. Okay, we still have uh, questions coming from uh, the audience. Uh, um, some of them are practical about how to clean the end pieces and uh, what type of oil you have to use? Well, uh, the end pieces are sealed, so you can clean them uh, with alcohol or a sterilizing solution, cleaning solution, disinfecting solution, whatever you want to use. Um, you can use them with a wet uh, uh, gauze. Of course, you do not have to uh, put them into the solution uh, because that will uh, then uh, get into the end piece. Regarding the oil, the only oil you have to use is paraffin oil, uh, which uh, can be found uh, in, uh, usually in the pharmacies. Um, you have to avoid uh, the creams, uh, the, the paraffin uh, creams or whatever, because they tend to become harder during the treatment, especially because of the heating coming from, uh, from uh, the device. And then uh, they will make the, uh, cooling conductivity uh, reduced so that the efficacy of the machine will be reduced. So this is the only oil you have to use. You cannot use any radio frequency oil, ultrasound gel, whatever, because they contain water and water absorbs the microwave. So you will reduce the efficacy of the device. This is the only oil you have to use. Uh, then we have other questions about uh, the outer temperature, uh, that means what happens if I cannot measure a temperature from outside higher than 39 degrees. Uh, actually, uh, these measures is just a, a rough indication about the treatment because the main indication is the dose. The goal of our treatment is be able to deliver the entire dose. If you reach 
uh, and you are able to deliver the entire dose, then uh, the treatment will be absolutely effective for sure. Uh, during the treatment, of course, it may happen then uh, while you are moving, the patient reports the warming sensation is too strong. At that point, you do not have to stop the treatment. You have just to pause the treatment by pressing the button for 10 or 15 seconds. And then you continue to move the MPs in the same area. In this way, you will be able to cool down the skin. The patient will feel uh, uh, much better in terms of uh, uh, feeling. And then you can start again the treatment until you reach the entire dose. In case uh, you can deliver the entire dose without any need of stopping during the procedure, then you can add an extra 20, 30,000 joule more if you want, just to improve the results. If you had to stop three or four times during the treatment before delivering the entire dose, then you can move to the next area immediately. Um, well, we have other questions. Uh, the most important, I think, well, you, is coming from Iraq, from our colleagues in Iraq, because they saw uh, the amazing results we get, especially in fat reduction. And they uh, inquire us uh, just to know how they can get the same results. Well, as Federica showed you before, first of all, be sure to use the settings she told you uh, by adjusting the power and the entire dose for the single area. This is absolutely fundamental. The second suggestion we have is uh, respect the interval time of four weeks. So do not shorter the interval to two weeks just to, uh, with the idea of getting better results. And uh, the third, of course, uh, remember that they are combining ONDA, especially uh, with the electromagnetic stimulation, so with the Svartzi, to get a faster reabsorption of the fat. So these three elements, I think, yeah. I don't know if you want to yeah. add something more, are determining the good results that she is able to get with our device. And most of our customers are obtaining uh, all, all around the world. Uh, well, we have other questions coming. Maybe I will collect them. Uh, we can move on to the treatment. And uh, during the session, we will answer to all of them. Well, so we start with practical part. I call my patient. Okay, today we are going to see how to uh, how to do a treatment in belly area for fat reduction and in double chin area. So I start with belly area. Okay, I'm going to do it. I have a very shy patient today. <laughs> anyway, okay. So for this patient, I think that two quadrants are enough. So any benefit? Okay, I think that they are enough. One. 15 by 15, you see that I always draw my square. This is very important in order not to lose the area where to move. It looks small, but it's not so small, this quadrant. I normally use a normal pen like this because with pencil or marker, they could fail in very few seconds by using the oil. This is the best. Okay, I know that the major part of the fat is here. So I mark where to pass more time. That's it. Okay, I asked my patient to lay down on the bed, stand in the party. We have to find the right position of the patient because if I maintain my patient completely lay down, you see that I'm gonna lose the fat and I feel the bones. So I normally tilt her back a little bit in order to have as much fat as possible. 
iniziali su un po' più su. Bravissimo. Ok. This is the best position for treating the belly area. I adjust the level of the bed. Okay. And now we need to set the machine. As I said before, I normally avoid to select the database because from database parameters are very low. So I strongly recommend to go here and set the machine by yourself. First of all, we need to understand which handpiece to use. So in this case for her, the best is the deep one because she has a very soft fat. So I select deep and the light lights up. Then I need to select the dose. So as I um, said before, the best dose in this case could be 150,000. So this is the amount of the energy that I want to deliver in each quadrant to obtain results. The power is the speed that I use to push down this energy. So uh, probably with this 180 watts, she will feel a very uh, hot sensation. So I go down, I try to put 160. If my patient can tolerate I will work for 15 minutes and 37 seconds. If she will complain about the heat, I can go down the power. I never touch the dose. I want to finish the dose always, okay? So we can play with the power for helping the patient to tolerate better, but we never touch the dose, okay? I start from this quadrant. I finish my 15 minutes in this quadrant. Then I go to treat the other part. Thanks to these arms on the machine, we can adjust. So this is very good for us because it's easier to maintain the handpiece and it's very lighter now, okay? So I normally hold my handpiece like this, like to have a pen in my hand, okay? Because in this way, it's very uncomfortable for the wrist. So I strongly recommend to hold the handpiece like this, okay? Don't worry if you touch with your fingers the cooling system. I immediately start sliding. I never stay, st stay still over the same area. It's impossible to burn the patient. Why? Because if I remain still for two or three seconds, she, she moves away my hand. So I don't have time to cause a damage, okay? I can go slow, why? Because I'm using deep end piece and I know that this kind of hand piece, it's very tolerable by the patient because the cooling system is bigger. You see that I perform linear movement. Be careful not to pass over the belly button. Why? Because it's impossible to cool down inside it so it can get uh, burn. So linear movement, you can go a little bit out of the square because remember that here we have one centimeters of schooling system where there is no emission. So we can go a little bit out, okay, not like this. So you can, you can see during the treatment, uh, uh, the handpiece has a, a LED indicator, which is green now. That means we, are, uh, we have a good contact with, uh, with the patient. And uh, 
all the energy is delivered in the correct way. Uh, if you, uh, Federica, try to uh, detach a bit the MPs, then it becomes red, meaning there is no contact between the uh, NPs and the patient. In this case, you can immediately understand if you are uh, performing the treatment in the correct way or not. If most of the time you saw the green uh, light, it means all the energy has been delivered properly to, to the patient. In case uh, there is a bad contact because of some technical issues, because of uh, uh, the technique you are using or the oil is not the correct one, the LED can become yellow, meaning there is no a good contact, but still you have contact or red. Red means no contact at all. After 10 seconds, you have no contact, then the device will stop automatically uh, the treatment. So at the end, uh, makes the procedure very easy because you understand exactly if you're working correctly or not, and very safe because there is no way of uh, making mistakes and delivering the energy outside the patient. You see that this area is getting red here. Why? Because here I have less fat. So she immediately feels heat. So I know, so I try not to pass many time over the, this area. For helping the patient to tolerate better, we can do a slight massage with the other hand in order to distract the sensorial receptors. And you see that even the other part is getting red here because we have the heat diffusion. It's completely normal. If the patient complain about that, we can stop the energy emission and we can cool down the area where she feels heat for very few seconds. And I start again. This happens when we are treating a very soft fat. So with soft fat, the heat diffusion is very fast. Sometimes customers ask me, I can cover the entire belly area, putting more energy? No. We always concentrate, as Ricardo said before, over the same quadrant. We cannot do the, the both of them together at the same time. Because we want to concentrate the energy in order to have much heat as possible. Now patient feels hot, so I stop the energy and I'm passing the cooling system. Now she's fine, really better. I can add even some oil. These are little tricks, but very uh, effective. So stop for a few seconds, five, six seconds, adding some oil more. This, we can do it for three times. More than three times, it's better to reduce the power. Okay, we, we are getting another question is for how long I have to move the MPs over the same area? Well, as we said before, uh, the goal is to deliver uh, the entire dose. So as long as you have energy to be delivered, you keep moving the MPs over the area. Uh, when the dose is finished, then the machine will automatically stop you. So there is no way of over treating or under treating the patient uh, because of uh, uh, the automatic control of the delivered dose. If I know that my patient is feeling uh, heat, I go a little bit faster. Going faster she feels more the cooling system. I recommend to maintain the cooling system always at five degrees.
normally, it's quite strange, but normally the patients uh, tolerate better the second quadrant because the temperature in the body is increased, so she will tolerate better the other part. Sometimes I put my finger into the belly button just to feel the temperature to verify that it's not too high. Okay, I stop again because she is feeling heat. I cool down, she's relaxing. Next time that she will stop me, I will reduce the power. But I want to finish the dose. Okay, we, we get another question about the interval time in case of uh, double chin treatment. So how long you wait before uh, treating the patient again? Uh, three weeks. I wait three weeks because we normally deliver a very low energy, low dose, so we can wait a little bit less. Okay, I reduce the power. Because having very soft fat, it's normal that she feels a strong heat. So I decided to go down 150 and I try again. But the dose remains the same. Another question is about the number of sessions you usually have to perform uh, to get uh, good results in case you are treating the double chin. As I said before, I normally propose four treatments. Then if I reach the goal before, I can stop after three. If my patient needs one more, we can do five, six, as you want. Never average five. And four, you, have, you have to um, um, apply a treatment for skin tightening after you treated the double chin or uh, the, uh, the treatment itself provides uh, a good skin tightening as I well. never had other treatments. I do just on the treatments in double chin, even because I want that the inflammation decreases. So I want to give time doing nothing after that. Now with this kind of power, with 150, my patient tolerates better. So you see that I can give you, to you some suggested parameters, but you have to, to play with the power, understanding what your patient can, can tolerate. I cool down the skin.
Not bad water. Right? Sorry. Okay, so you see we have to carry on the, the treatment until the dose is uh, finished. It's uh, almost uh, done. Uh, we have to, of course, uh, uh, stop the treatment anytime the patient reports the feeling is getting too hot and uh, uh, cool down for 10 to 15 seconds uh, the skin. This is very uh, uh, patient dependent. Uh, some of them, they can tolerate the entire dose without any problem. Some others, uh, they need to stop. Uh, it's not a sign of uh, a bad treatment, over treatment or whatever is really um, patient dependent. Uh, the uh, treatment is almost uh, done. Uh, so I think we can wait at uh, the end of this quadrant and maybe uh, move to another area. We get, uh, meantime, other questions we, we want to uh, answer. So the first one is about uh, tightening. Can we use Onda for uh, tightening the chin? Yes, you can do it. Ah, scusa. Can you hear me? Okay. Uh, yes, the, the purpose is even tightening, but be careful be, because we have to have fat into the tissue. So if I have a very lean patient without fat, only flabbiness, in that case, it's better to avoid because remember that our main target is fat layer. So we need to have it. Yeah, correct. And... Uh... Moreover, don't forget that uh, you get the skin tightening together and at the same time you are performing uh, uh, the fat treatment. Because as Federica explained to you before, the three effects, uh, the skin tightening, uh, the fat reduction and the cellulite in case you have cellulite in the area you are treating are always uh, present uh, and uh, uh, while you are treating the fat, you are also inducing the skin tightening as well. So we have other questions uh, coming. Uh, we are going to collect them uh, and then we answer to all of them. Okay, we get uh, another clinical uh, question about uh, uh, the inflammation after the treatment. Uh, can uh, the inflammation, uh, uh, in case of uh, double chin treatment, increase the volume of this area? Well, actually, there is an inflammation. Uh, usually, the edema is uh, really modest or absent. So, actually, you will not notice a significant uh, uh, edema or inflammation uh, caused by the treatment. So there is no volume, volume augmentation in case of uh, uh, ONDA treatment uh, after the procedure. It's, uh, yeah, Federica is reminding me to be careful uh, during this treatment, not to go 
over the suggested area outside the suggested area because uh, in this case you can uh, um, interact with the glands and have uh, uh, of course uh, uh, um, edema and volume augmentation so we are collecting other questions Okay, what, what in case we pass over the belly area? Well, as we said before, we should avoid, uh, there are no big uh, side effects or big risks. The only thing is the patient will start, uh, uh, if you stay there for too long, will start uh, feeling hot uh, sensation. So then you have to, in any case, you will have to move or to stop. Um, if you pass just uh, over the belly for a few moments, nothing will happen. It's just a reminder to avoid uh, uh, staying in this area. Um, okay, another question. This is very important. Uh, we do not mean that you have to apply three different programs uh, for fat, uh, one for skin tightening and another for cellulite. Uh, we mean actually that while we are doing, for example, the fat treatment now, at the same time, during the same uh, uh, treatment Federica is performing, of course, due to the eating effect, we are also inducing the skin tightening. So you don't need another session for uh, uh, enhancing the skin tightening. Of course, in this area, we do not have cellulite. If you treat the back, probably uh, you have. And uh, in this case, uh, we also improve uh, the cellulite appearance. So you do not have to perform three times the treatment uh, with different protocols in the same area. We actually mean that uh, thanks to the special characteristics of the microwave, you are inducing skin tightening and treating cellulite at the same time you are performing uh, a FET uh, treatment. Okay, there is another question. This is very interesting uh, because it be, has been reported several times to feel uh, uh, sort of muscle contractions, especially in the abdominal area uh, after the treatment. Well, this happens uh, from time to time is a sign that uh, the treatment has been uh, done in the proper way. And uh, it happens especially when uh, uh, the uh, um, amount of fat, the thickness is not so high. So in case you have a patient which uh, is experiencing that, uh, we can suggest you to switch uh, from the deep uh, to the superficial empties. This will reduce the penetration and probably will avoid uh, this uh, uh, feeling after the procedure. It's not a big or a major side effect. It's something you can feel uh, usually the day after the procedure a strong contraction of the muscles, of the abdominal muscles, but it doesn't represent a significant uh, 
uh, side effect. Other question, uh, uh, I think we mostly answer to all of them. Uh, um, yeah, okay. Uh, measuring the temperature after the procedure. Well, measuring the temperature just gives you uh, information which can be useful for you just to see the efficacy and just to demonstrate uh, to you and to the patient uh, the eating has been delivered and is coming uh, up to the superficial layers. It doesn't represent an endpoint. It doesn't represent uh, a sign uh, when to stop or that the treatment has been uh, effective. This, the um, endpoint and the sign the treatment has been effective is guaranteed by the dose. So if you have been able to uh, deliver the entire dose, for sure, the treatment will be, will be effective. Um, okay, some patients have a uh, sort of uh, edema uh, from uh, contusion, something like this uh, after the procedure. Uh, is that normal or uh, is a side effect? Uh, I think it comes uh, from uh, probably too much pressure that you apply yes. uh, to the patient uh, and to the MPs over, over the treatment area. So we uh, remind to you that the amount of pressure you have to apply is really minimum because uh, there is no need of uh, pushing too much. And in any case, if you see the green light, you are in a good contact. So there is no need of uh, increasing the pressure. So it, it's enough, the weight of the handpiece. So it's enough sliding without any pressure into the tissue. Of course. Uh, another important uh, uh, thing that uh, before uh, Federica told you, uh, but which I suggest you to follow in case you are, you are experienced with the, with the device and uh, you know how to set uh, the proper settings, uh, is to use always the predefined protocols uh, or at least the predefined database because the predefined database will uh, gives you the possibility of uh, uh, predicting the dose by uh, setting the right uh, thickness, but most importantly, will automatically switch you to the right handpiece you have to use. Because in case, for example, now I go back and I select cellulite as an example. The, uh, the machine in case of uh, cellulite or skin tightening should direct you to different uh, end pieces automatically. So you see now the hand piece selected by the device is now the shallow one. So that allows you to, uh, let's say, uh, start with, especially with the right hand piece, which is very important, more than the dose. Then you know very well after this uh, uh, webinar and with your experience, you will have to increase the dose to the levels uh, that Federica showed you before. Now, just to summarize, the dose, as she said, represents the efficacy. So if you increase the dose, the treatment will be absolutely more effective. You increase the, treat the treatment time, so you have to use the speed, which is represented by the power, to uh, go back to a treatment time, which is around 14, 15 minutes, more or less. So this is, uh, uh, these are the old settings you have to adjust. Uh, in this device. So the treatment is very easy. The um, machine is very easy. It's been designed in a way that you cannot make mistakes. Um, we have other questions. Uh, okay. Um, we have a question of uh, use of ONDA after mesotherapy or uh, lipolysis, I think, liposuction. Is it safe? Uh, yeah, definitely Onda is <laughs> for sure yes. safer than uh, liposuction and mesotherapy. For sure, and we can even uh, use Onda device after liposuction for improving some little problems. For example, when we have wavy tissue after surgery, but we have to wait at least four or five months 
after liposuction. It's not suggestible to do on the treatment after mesotherapy. We suggest carbosy therapy. It's really better than mesotherapy combining with ONDA. Yeah, okay. Another question is about uh, the possibility of dividing the fat treatment from the skin tightening. Yes, you can divide it. Uh, of course, um, if you do a dedicated treatment for skin tightening, you induce uh, better results in this sense, of course. Don't forget that you are uh, inducing skin tightening the same time you are doing uh, fat reduction. So, of course, if you have a patient which uh, had uh, lipolysis or liposuction or cryotherapy and you have flabbiness of the skin, you mostly want to induce skin tightening. In this uh, case, you do not select the fat treatment, but you go for the skin tightening uh, treatment directly. It means uh, you will choose a different type of end piece, different type of settings, and you will focus on that treatment as well. What we mean is that there is no need of uh, uh, doing two or three passages in the same area because you want to uh, treat the fat and then induce skin tightening. You are doing skin tightening at the same time. Um, okay, another question is uh, how much we have to increase the power and uh, uh, the dose for the different indications. Well, you have to follow the... Um, suggestions that Federica uh, told you before. Normally, we uh, increase by uh, 16, 70% the dose and 40%, uh, 30% uh, the power. It means we usually work in a range between 140 to 160 Watt for the power and the dose between 140 to 170, depending on the different uh, the different indications. Sorry, anyway, we will make available slide. the this webinar to uh, to our distributors, so you can ask uh, them uh, the uh, clinical parameters we we gave to you. Here we summarize them, so Federica can uh, can best reply to you. Yeah, I suggest to you to take a picture of this slide just to have the right parameters. And remember that in the upper part of the slide, uh, you find the parameters that I normally use for my patient, those and power. Or if you start from database, as Ricardo said before, you can increase the dose 78% uh, more and increase the power 34th watt more. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna start the double chin treatment. Yeah, okay. So mm -hmm. I always start from here. Okay. I select shallow hand piece because double chin is treatable only by shallow hand piece. I put the right dose, 60,000 joule, because she has not much fat. So I prefer to maintain a very low parameter and I need to decrease the power, 60 watt. This is the minimum parameter for double chin. If I have more fat, I can even put 70 or 80 increasing even the power. But these parameters are safe only for people who have much fat. In this case, for hair, I reduce at 60,060 watt. Okay. Yeah, these are, let's say, high settings. So um, using 60 watt uh, is not uh, suitable for all uh, patients uh, if you are not sure about uh, the correct level of power especially you uh, can start with 30 40 watt and then uh, uh, increase them in case uh, the uh, the settings are too low so it's better to start with lower with lower uh, parameters so i'm gonna give her the, uh, the oil 
<laughs> yes, this is a <laughs> innovative way of using uh, masks. Uh, <laughs> va bene, va bene. Absolutely. Maybe in the future, after the COVID situation <laughs> is finished, will be a good way to deal with the partner when uh, it's very stressful. We don't know. So keep the masks benissimo, for benissimo. future use. This is the right position for double chin treatment. Me la stendi un bocciolino. Okay, perfect. I press the red button and I start sliding. Now it's very cold. So in a few seconds, you will see redness in the treated area due to the cooling system. I strongly recommend it to do this very little movement. I cannot do like this. In this way, I go to touch the glands and lymphatic vessels. So please remain in this area. So as, as you can see, the treatment uh, uh, is done exactly in the same way you would do in other uh, areas. Uh, the principle is exactly the same. The dose represents uh, the clinical results and uh, the power represents the speed. Of course, uh, since the area is smaller and more sensitive, we have to adapt uh, the uh, dose and the power to make the treatment uh, suitable for uh, uh, the patient. Number of sessions, uh, as we said before, are uh, three to four, depending on the, uh, the clinical situation. Uh, and uh, the treatment is roughly around 15 to 20 minutes per session. I'm now try to collect the other questions we've got. Uh, yeah, we'll be able, I think, in a few moments to resume uh, all of them. Another little suggestion for you that you use the machine is not to move the arms like this, because it's very tiring for the operator to move the arm in this way for all the time. I normally maintain my arm still and I dance with my body. It's really more comfortable. Even when I treat other areas of the body, I normally move my body for moving the handpiece and I normally maintain the arm quite still. 
Okay, we've got another question. Can we use Onda after a laser treatment or sun exposure? Um, well, actually there is no uh, big uh, interaction between uh, the Onda and uh, um, the skin after sun exposure because the level of inflammation we cause uh, during the treatment or after the treatment is very minimum. Uh, laser treatment, I think, uh, yes, uh, I would say. Of course, uh, not in case you are using ablative lasers because you have, uh, even though you're using, for example, a fractional CO2, you have micro uh, ablations open um, and it's better to avoid, just to avoid the risk of infections. But if you are doing, if you have done, for example, uh, IPL or uh, other non-invasive treatments, I would say uh, yes. It's better if you wait a couple of days after the laser procedure, but if you can, if you have to combine them uh, in the same session, uh, if you respect these uh, indications we are giving, there are no risks. As well as uh, the interval time after the cryolipolysis uh, procedure, how long is it? How long do you have to wait after the cryo? After cryo, I normally wait to, to treat the same area two months because first of all, I want to see the cryo results. And after that, I can focus uh, the treatment, the ONDA treatment in what remains in the treated area. So two months. On the contrary, if I start from ONDA treatment, I can do cryolipolysis after one month. Another question is what we mean uh, with fat, uh, uh, soft fat uh, and hard fat. Well, uh, this um, definition is quite uh, simple. Uh, the, the soft fat is what you can pinch, easily pinch. And sometimes you, you see uh, patients with a big abdomen, for example, but you cannot pinch it at all. So it's, uh, we say it's quite hard to pinch it. In this case, it means most of the fat is visceral fat. The soft one is mostly uh, superficial fat, which we can treat and we can get good results. We can't uh, reach, we can't treat, and we can't get good results in case of visceral fat. This is not possible to, to be reached. So it's very important to determine uh, the right protocol, the right approach, but also it's very important uh, to determine the type of fat because you can determine in advance the results you can expect. If you have a, a big abdomen, you cannot pinch. It's very hard. Uh, you will hardly get good results because uh, most of the fat is located uh, uh, below the muscles and uh, between the organs, which we cannot reach. Uh, on contrary, if uh, the fat is quite soft, you can pinch it easily, then uh, this is a, a case where you can expect uh, very good results. Okay, let's see if we have other questions. This is the temperature out of the treated area. So you see that we have its diffusion even here. While if I try to take temperature over the treated area, there is too much oil. Too much oil. Mm. 
Okay, so the treatment is almost done. As you can see, the goal is uh, uh, delivering the entire dose. And then, of course, in case you are treating cellulite, results will be immediately visible. And uh, after a few days, there will be a significant improvement. Uh, in case of fat, of course, we have to wait uh, the fat reabsorption before uh, uh, noticing significant uh, improvements. So the best results can uh, be appreciated uh, 30 days after the, the procedure in case of fat. For cellulite, we get uh, almost immediate results. And uh, the worst the cellulite, the cellulite is, the appearances, the better would be uh, the result. Thirty-nine, nearly forty. At the beginning, we have to wait because now, if I touch the skin of my patient, he's quite cold due to the cooling system. After some seconds, one minute, the heat comes up. Thirty-eight. Okay. Thank you, Patrizia. Okay, so we have a few questions. Uh, what about uh, the uh, post-treatment care at home after the procedure? Um, Absolutely nothing. Nothing to put over the treated area. We only recommend to drink a lot of water, about two liters per day. Um, to walk, to try to do exercises or draining massage, uh, everything that can help the lymphatic system to work faster. But we don't need any creams or oil after treatment because you see that we don't have erythema or, or rashes or redness, so it, it doesn't mean uh, it doesn't matter to put uh, cream. Okay, we have another uh, question is about uh, clarifying the use of Onda in case of a particular area, especially the small areas, I think you are meaning about uh, the knees or underarm. So in this case, because the areas are very small and uh, the amount of fat is limited, you, have, you will have to use the uh, superficial MPs. Treatment will be performed exactly in the same way. You have to apply the correct settings, of course, but uh, the procedure will be the same. So you deliver the dose by moving the MPs over the treatment area. Uh, we, uh, of course, design um, on purpose the small MPs for those small areas, including underarm, double chin, and uh, the knees. So you can treat easily those area with the uh, uh, superficial MPs. Um, uh, if you want, Ricardo, I can share them. I can show okay. them how to put the patient for treating yes. uh, other areas. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have uh, a question we have already answered before, but uh, it's worth to repeat. Uh, what is the interval time between uh, uh, the double chin treatment sessions? As Federica said before, she is used to wait uh, three weeks in between, uh, in between the sessions. Usually it's uh, four weeks in case of fat treatment in the other areas. Um, 
Okay, I don't see uh, other questions coming at the moment. Uh, just few tips that uh, Federica can give to you uh, in order to uh, position better the, uh, the patient uh, so that uh, you will improve also the clinical results because of that. Okay, for example, for treating knee area, I maintain the leg of my patient in this position. I normally draw the square in this area, avoiding the knee part. The, the bones part, and I'm gonna treat these quadrant, okay? So I will do like this. With my other hand, I cover the bone and I concentrate the energy in the rest of the area. Sometimes patients have fat even here. I cannot treat only this area because I don't have 15 by 15, but I can do like this. I can go down to do some slidings and I go up. Go down. I do some passages here. This is the knee. For treating inner thigh, for example, if I want to treat this area, I ask to my patient to bend the other leg just to create the space where to move because I want as much fat as possible so I never bend the, the leg that I want to treat. So the treatment will be like this. Up and down or linear movement. I never do like this, because in this way, I'm gonna concentrate the heat in the middle and I never cool down that, the area. So the best movement is linear movement in this way or in this way. Okay, we have uh, other questions from the audience. Um, one of them is, uh, should we use Onda or uh, another radio frequency device in case uh, the patient had uh, uh, liposuction and we want to induce some skin tightening? Definitely, this is a good candidate for Onda. It is uh, actually some, uh, is an indication where you can expect actually very, very good results. So I suggest you to apply Onda for skin tightening. By using uh, shallow handpiece? Yeah, of course. You have to use the shallow handpiece because the fat has already been removed by uh, surgically by the liposuction. So you're just uh, looking for the best skin tightening as possible. Uh, another question is uh, about the type of treatment we can, uh, sorry, the type of patient we can treat, meaning uh, pregnant uh, women. Uh, For example, patient of all ages or uh, uh, women who are breastfeeding uh, the baby after, after uh, delivery. Uh, we normally avoid to treat uh, women where they are pregnant and breastfeeding, as I said before, we avoid to treat that women um, during the first six, eight months. When the breastfeeding is not the main meal of the baby, yes, we can do the treatment. We avoid even because in that period, women have a very slow uh, lymphatic system. So it's, it's difficult to see nice results in that kind of patient. Okay, and last question I see. Uh, can we treat patients who had uh, uh, hernia um, or not? No. As was written in uh, contraindication, we avoid to treat umbilical hernias uh, because it could be dangerous because we always stop in fat layer, but when we have hernias, it could be a problem because the energy could filter through it and go down. So we strongly avoid. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I treat cellulite uh, uh, in the back area? over uh, the shatic nerve? 
over the nerve, not, we avoid at all. Uh, if you have quite fat, yes, you can do the treatment, but please uh, make sure that we, you have at least two centimeters in that area for treating the patient. By using shallow hand piece, it's better because it's safer because we go down a little bit less. Yeah. So in case of cellulite, you, you, you have to use the superficial one. So you yeah. are uh, definitely on the, on the safe side uh, as well. Of course, be careful not to stay too much over this area uh, where you have the nerve. Try to avoid it, but if you rapidly pass over it, nothing will happen. Um, fine, I think that's uh, that's all for the for the question from the audience. Uh, I don't know if you want to. Okay, do just other others to to areas to show. For example, when I want to treat trochanteris area, this part. I ask to my patient to bend a little bit the leg like this. This is enough. We don't do like this because in this position, the patient will feel a strong heat sensation uh, near the bones. So maintain the leg, lay down. This is the position. I normally stay seated and I work in this way. Okay, we are thigh, it's very easy. Gluteus area, gluteus area, uh, we always treat this part with shallow hand piece, never deep. And even for the flank, I normally stay seated. I put a towel below the flank of my patient in order to have as much fat as possible and a sliding hand piece like this. Even for bra line, this is the best position. I ask to the patient to put the arm along the body in order to have as much fat as possible. So I never had to tighten the skin, okay? Even here, we slide the hand piece in this way or in this way. A particular area is the arm. The arm, the best position for me, is this. So the arm along the body, a little bit bended. I stay seated. And with my other hand, I help myself to find the fat. That's it. So you can see at the end, uh, by using the two uh, and pieces, you can treat uh, almost any indication regarding the body shaping and skin tightening and cellulite. You can treat uh, any area, uh, almost any area in the body, even the small uh, areas is absolutely safe. Uh, the control of uh, the action of the penetration given by the two and pieces allows you to be very safe and to tailor the treatment to any patient guaranteeing good results and uh, the maximum safety. The use of the device is extremely simple as you uh, saw during the webinar uh, because the dose is controlled by uh, the device automatically. Uh, there is no way of creating injuries, uh, burnings or uh, expecting side effects after the treatment. It doesn't require anesthesia. It doesn't require particular post-care treatment. It can be done after surgical procedure, laser treatments, sun exposure. So it's a very versatile device, uh, very easy to use and absolutely safe uh, in, in that sense. So uh, since we have no more questions, uh, I think we can close the webinar here. I wanna thank uh, uh, Federica for uh, his uh, support and the useful information that uh, she uh, hopefully transferred to you. Um, of course, if you have uh, questions, uh, clinical parameters, or any other uh, inquiry you wanna you wanna ask us, uh, please feel free to contact us to contact uh, uh, the local distributor, and uh, we will be absolutely happy to provide you with all the information you may need uh, uh, for the use of Onda and the other devices we have. So thank you again for joining us. Thanks uh, to Federica. Thank you again. for your attention. And hopefully we can meet uh, in person uh, soon. 
Thanks so much. Thank you.